Hello, my beloved guests. Today, I want to show you how you can easily create your custom permissions because every project is unique and requirements are also unique. So you should have the flexibility to write your own permissions and match them as you want. Let me show what I mean. So for example, you have this PR admin, PR user and PR super user from the backend. And you, the business analyst comes to you and says that you should show uh, data only to the user who has, for example, PR admin or PR user, and then and he should have PR super user like this. Yeah, super user, not equals PR super user, and you can achieve it with nginx permissions and nested them, but it's not very good solution and especially if you have it on a lot of pages it will be not very maintainable so there is a solution to write your own custom permission and write your own custom logic so let's say to write your own custom logic you will need to use user permission service and add permission let's say it's uh, I don't know mega user mega user we'll say and then you will need to pass a validation function validation function takes permission name and permission object and expects boolean so let's say return true first yeah like this let's see Let's write, if there is no permission name, then return false. So uh, let's see what is actually in permission object. So permission object, let's log it. So uh, also to see what is in, you will need to use it. So we go back to our component and add it. mega user ah uh, yeah and here is if there is no permission name so let's see so we have our mega user and it has validation function but we also have all others permissions that are available in the application to write what you will need to do for example you need to write and what you will do is because it expects boolean, not null, not undefined, and the false value. And then you can write permission object and let's say PR admin and permission object PR super user. let's close it what you don't like oh my god we need to close it yeah so now if we go back now it will check if the user has pr admin and pr super user and it's very flexible because you can write your own logic for example another one if for the user you should show data to the user who has pr in it so what you can do is const keys first you will need to get keys from permission object you can do it with object keys and let's say permission object Let's see what keys we have. Let's unlock keys. You will get array of keys. And now what you can do is to write a return if keys, at least one of them, 
contains a key a key that includes this PR so now because it includes we have see this picture and if we remove all permissions we'll not see this picture or if we just add just admin without PR we need to remove everything else so basically this gives you the flexibility to write your own custom logic and that's it and remember to take breaks have a great day bye